This is the sixth and final video in a series that is all about how to promote your books with Facebook. In my previous videos, I showed you different things you need to consider when promoting your books on Facebook. And in this video, I want to recap everything and let you know what steps you can take right now to start promoting your books for free with Facebook. Hello, home bosses. I'm Nuria Corby from thehomeboss.com. Welcome to my channel, which is all about helping you to make money online from self-publishing. If you haven't watched my previous videos in this series, I recommend you watch them after this video ends so that you get good background knowledge about how you can sell more books by using Facebook to promote them. In the first video, I showed you some examples of successful authors and how they use their Facebook pages effectively. In the second video, I explained why you shouldn't use your personal Facebook account to promote your books. I see that happening quite often and that is definitely the wrong thing to do and is probably the reason why you're not seeing any results promoting your books. And in the third video, I recommend that you use a Facebook page rather than a Facebook group. And I explained the reasons why. Then in video four, I told you about the kind of posting strategy you should use. That means what should you post and how often. And in video five, I showed you some more examples of how an author, a notebook brand and a coloring book creator use their Facebook page to engage with their audience. Every video had tips and strategies for you to use and increase your book sales. For me, using Facebook to promote my books has been a great help. But I also know that many of you have tried Facebook and you haven't seen the same results. Some of you have told me that for the effort involved, they didn't think that it was worth it. And I can completely understand how they feel. It does take effort and it does take time to build an audience on Facebook. But it's something that you can do on the side. It won't take a lot of time in your day and it could make such a big difference in time. I know I'm glad I took the time back then and I can now see the benefits. As I mentioned before, it is really important that you use a Facebook page for your business rather than your personal Facebook account. You want to build your audience and not rely on friends and family. They are not your audience. I see people make that mistake all the time. Once I understood that my target audience is not the people I already know, everything changed for me. Knowing your target audience is also really important and is the key to being successful with your marketing. Tweak your posts to resonate with the people who are likely to buy your books. Focus on engaging your audience rather than selling to them. To the people that say Facebook doesn't work and that it's not the best platform for your books, well, you can use other social media platforms too. I have chosen Facebook as an example because it's the platform that has performed best for me. But that is not to say that another platform would work well for your books. It all depends on where most of your target audience hangs out. So it's worth looking into other platforms, but choose one now so that you can build your audience in time. By this time next year, you could already have a great following and all it takes is to spend five or 10 minutes a day or each week even, as long as you do it consistently. Consistency is important. If you post something once a week, make sure you do it every week. Some people think you have to post every day to get an audience. And of course, the more you post, the better. But if you start posting every day and then stop, that is worse than just posting once a week from the beginning. Consistency is really the key. So you could try other platforms like Twitter. TikTok is another good one. Even Pinterest. Instagram is another good one. All the kind of platforms that are very visual, like Instagram, like Pinterest, like Facebook, they're very good for books. I made this video series about Facebook because I think it's an easy platform to get into. Most of us have got a Facebook account already and uh, you have to start somewhere. So whichever platform you pick, pick one that you think might be good for your books and just start with it. It's important to just pick one and start. Later on, if you feel that 
the platform you have picked is not the best one. You can always change later on if you feel it's not the right platform for you, but it's worth a try. It really is. So if you start today, you will be grateful a few months down the line that you did. And I'm going to give you the steps that you can take, starting with step one, which you can do right now after you watch this video. So start with step one, go to Facebook and create a page. I'm not going to go over how to do that because platforms change all the time. And if you watch this video in a month or so, how to open an account might have changed. It's not that difficult. If you've already got a personal account, you can create a page easily. And uh, if you need to know how to do that, there are lots of YouTube videos that explain that or even on Google. Just Google how to create a Facebook page and you will have all the details there. So that's it. That's all you need to do for the first day. That is your first step. It will take 10 minutes or less. And once you've done it, go and do something else, forget about it, but come back to it the next day and start with the second step. So if you just do little steps, it won't seem so overwhelming and you can do that right now. So once you've created your Facebook page, go to the second step. Do that the following day or when you have time, but definitely do it. Don't postpone it. If you're anything like me, I keep thinking, oh, I'll do it tomorrow, but tomorrow never comes. So just make sure you do it. So step two is to name your page. So you can use your author name, a real name or your book title, whichever you feel represents your brand best. And it's completely up to you. You can change the names of your pages. So just start and you can change it later. If choosing your name is stopping you from starting, then just choose any name. It doesn't matter. You can change that later. It's more important that you start and that you get to do step two. And once you've done that, you can do step three, which is very simple, add a profile picture. So you can either add a profile picture of yourself or you can add a logo or you can just add any image. And as I said before, just do this step. You can change your picture later. So as long as you just create something, you're good to go. And step four is fairly easy as well, and that is to create a simple banner. It can be plain color with your book's title. It can be a collage of book covers or anything else that visually represents your work. And you can have a look at other authors and see what they have used for their pages. And the same advice for this step as all the other steps, just do it. You can always change things later. I think what usually stops people from making progress is that they overthink it. And sometimes it's just a good idea to start and not think about it too much. Just get it going. And then you can always make changes later if you prefer. Everything can be changed. So it's very important to just get your page started. So now you have created your page. You have given your page a name. You have added a profile picture. You have created a simple banner. And what you can do now is step five, and that is to share something about yourself or your books. And it can be as simple as a welcome message for your new followers. And once you've done that, once you've done those five steps, you will feel that you have achieved something because you've got your page ready, you have already posted something, and now it's getting really exciting because from now on, all you have to do is just build on that. And the more you share things about yourself and your books, the more you will get used to it. Don't forget that these things take a little bit of practice as well. I didn't know what to post when I first started. And uh, as long as you just post something and uh, you will soon get into a routine and it won't be so difficult once you get started. So you've done your five steps and now is step six. And that is to think about what kind of content you want to share next. For that, all you have to do is just write down some ideas or topics related to your books. That's all. Just some ideas and some topics on a piece of paper and just write down whatever comes into your head and just brainstorm ideas. Step seven is to decide on a comfortable posting frequency. Are you going to post once a week? Are you going to post twice a week? 
or are you going to even post every day? Choose what works for you without feeling overwhelmed. Every day might be a little bit too much at the beginning, but if you decide to post once a week, that's absolutely fine. But then do it once a week. Don't post once and then not post for three weeks or four weeks. Make sure that your posting is consistent. The final step, and we're really getting there now, is step eight. Somebody has commented on one of your posts. Yay, you can now reply. So that is all you need to do. There are eight very simple steps. But once you've taken all of those steps, you have a Facebook page for your books and you can really build on it now. And like I said, the earlier you start, the better because it will take time and it will take a little bit of effort. But you can do this. Just don't overthink any of this. You can create a rubbish looking Facebook page for now and change it later. Once you start, the ideas will start coming. It took me a long time to get it right and I still make mistakes, but that's OK because that is how we learn. And once you have a following, even if it's just a small following, your page will start growing and all you have to do from there on is to maybe start an email list. You can post things about freebies that you can offer people and direct them to a landing page. This is maybe another thing that I could make videos about if that's what you're interested in. Now it's all about getting the followers that you have collected on Facebook to buy your books and to be aware of your books. So turn your followers into customers. That is another big topic and it's something that you can then build on once you have created your Facebook page. And there you have it. Simple steps that you can take right now to kickstart your Facebook page for book promotion. And it's all free. And it's all about taking that first step and building from there. Just take it step by step. Each action you take is a building block towards a thriving author platform on Facebook. So go ahead, give it a go and see where this journey takes you. I hope you enjoyed this series. I hope you watched all the videos and I really hope that this has been helpful for you. Building my Facebook page was a lot of hard work at the beginning, but I'm so glad I did it because it has really helped to market my books and uh, free marketing is always good, especially if you're a beginner, then it's a great time to start your Facebook page now. And like I said, just do it slowly, spend five to 10 minutes each day and that's all it takes. So if you found these videos helpful, please like, share and let me know in the comments. And if you are creating your new Facebook page, let me know. I'd really love to hear about it. Don't forget to subscribe for more friendly tips. Keep writing, keep sharing. And remember, every great journey starts with a simple step. See you next time.